So today we're going to be going over rumors of this brand new Sony full frame ZV-E camera. And I think it's a very interesting camera. I'm going to go over speculation of rumors that I found online, some personal opinions of mine, and kind of where this sits in the market, possibly price. And we're going to be going over all that here today. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Paul and I run a channel Aspires, other creators that your future is whatever you make it. I do that with the gear reviews tutorials. And today we're going over some Sony rumors on this brand new ZV full frame camera. And I'm gonna be getting some rumors from various sites and give you some personal speculations. And we're also gonna go over some pricing and who I think this camera really is for at the end of the day. So first off, I get these uh, rumors from two different sites, Sony Alpha Rumors and uh, Tony Northrup that does a lot of like rumored videos on his own channel, which I think is kind of funny because the guy gets these cameras to review at the same time. So I almost feel like that this, and he's been known for actually leaking content in the past before with previous Sony cameras where he posted his video before the release date, which is, it's, it's hilarious that Sony keeps sending him stuff and breaking his NDAs, but nonetheless, he does rumors on his channel of news and upcoming events. And I feel like he kind of leaked the name of the camera because originally in his posts, he said ZVE 100. Now he's changed it to the ZVE one. And in his video, he kind of made it sound like he knew that the camera was ZV one. And he says that because uh, Sony always uses a one number system for their full frame cameras, like a seven and such, and always uses like two digits for like example, like the ZV uh, E 10 was the APS-C. And so he just thinks it's going to be called one for full frame where a lot of the rumors on Sony Alpha rumors also says it's an E 100. But because of that, I'm going to say the camera is going to be called the ZV E one. And it's, I just think he already knows a lot of this stuff. And we're going to be breaking down that video too, that he does just kind of prove that. I think it's, it's he really knows all about this camera. The second thing that the site says is it's pretty much going to be an a seven S three, um, in a small ZV one body. And Tony Northrop also says the exact same thing, the same specs, 12 megapixel sensor, you know, full 4k 120. 60 frames per second, you know, 24, all that. And it's incredible in that small form factor because that means that the camera is not supposed to be overheating. It's supposed to be unlimited recording. And now you gotta take in mind that yes, that camera is a very small body, but it's also plasticky. So you're not gonna be getting the quality of an A7S III in this camera. And yes, that's probably gonna be the biggest price differentiator or whatever between these two cameras. If you're like, man, should I just go ahead and get the Ace of an S3 or this is new ZV camera? Personally, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about it yet, but based on these rumors, you if you have the money, go for the Ace of an S3 or the FX3. Um, but it looks like you're going to get the same exact picture quality out of the smaller ZV camera for a fraction of the price. Um, it's not going to have an EVF. So you're just like all the other ZV cameras, you're just going to have a flip out screen and no EVF, but it's essentially going to be an A7S III in the small body. That's what these rumors look like, but all the sites are reporting it this way. So we're just going to have to wait and find out. I think the newest Sony Alpha rumor site says that the, the camera is going to be coming out March 29th. So if that really is the case, that's, I don't know, 17 days away, these cameras already have to be in the hands of creators out there. And I think Mr. Tony Northrup already has the camera. He's kind of reporting rumors, but also speculating what the camera is about. So that's just my two cents. I don't know for a fact, I don't know any big popular creators that have this camera. Who knows what's gonna happen when this releases, but that's just my speculation. So what's the price gonna be for this camera? Well. Tony Northrup says it's gonna be $1,500. Now, the only thing we've heard about from these other sites is that the camera will be under $3,000. And I mean, for a ZV camera, you you kind of have to be that. It has to be under $3,000. It's the their budget line. It's made of plastic. It's not, you know, high quality. With that price, 
you're gonna you're gonna have to have the budget people in mind uh, new creators that want that high quality but they don't necessarily know how to shoot a, a camera super professionally or they just you know they just don't want to spend that kind of money on a camera this is going to be that camera where they're like hey you know this can do everything you need gets you that exact quality of the a7s3 in a small body for an affordable price i think it's going to be closer to at least two thousand dollars but i mean the math for mr tony northrup does make sense and who knows maybe he knows the price after all and it will be eighteen hundred dollars and his rumor is right but i think uh it, it, it'll be two thousand dollars if they can get it under two thousand dollars this camera will sell like hotcakes just like the zve 10. you gotta remember that the zve 10 is like flying off the shelves all these traders that want a decent camera with its interchangeable lens is they're buying it and it's it's a great little camera my buddy kyle watts did a great uh, photo shoot out in new york with this thing got some killer photos and the great thing about these systems is you can use any of these e-mount lenses from sony so i think yes it's going to have one card slot just like all these other zv cameras the question will be battery life. The battery life for the ZV-E10, you gotta have tons of those little Sony batteries that they use for their earlier APS-C cameras. And I personally think if they're gonna have the guts of the A7S III in it, they've got to have that Z battery in it. And the battery life would probably be amazing with that little thing. Um, and we'll, we'll, have to, we'll just have to see, but I highly doubt they're going to have that small battery um, from the, the ZV-E10. I think this camera is going to go ahead and spend the extra money and upgrade the internals to have a little bit bigger grip, maybe similar to this A7C that I'm shooting on right now, and it will you know, be able to hold that, that bigger Z battery. That will give it the battery life. That will make it last and it'll make it a really popular camera for content creators. Imagine having a small camera. Like I love my A7C, but imagine having a camera smaller than this one with a little bit bigger grip like the A7C, and it has full functionality of my A7S III. That is crazy. This camera will probably fly off the shelves. And Sony knows their market. They know what creators want. I thought they were kind of crazy. Well, you're making a ZV-E10 and you're gonna do, it's just the same exact internals as the A6400 and you know just updated color science and autofocus and and I, I thought they were kind of crazy myself, but man, that camera is flying off the shelves. So that I think they've really hit a, a really great market here with this ZV line. People love the ZV1 and people have totally been buying this new ZV E10. So coming out with a full frame version of this it's just gonna fly off the shelves. So that's my speculation, exactly the same thing as the A7S III. Now, IBIS, uh, will they put it in there? I. That's a really small body. At the very least, they're definitely gonna have the active stabilization, and it's a really small body, so I'd be shocked if they could fit IBIS in there. But if they could do that, that would give it a leg up and also allow them to charge a little bit more for this camera. For the stabilization but once again you know it's god no if you had the active only i still think it would be a, a great little vlogging camera for these content creators and then you have all the same smart shooting modes that's in the zve line so people don't really have to think too much about what they're shooting they can get the product showcase mode i think it's going to have the exact same codex inside the camera as the A7S III, I mean, people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, you know, like, if, especially if they can get that thing under $2,000, people with the A7S III are gonna be like, wow, I spent a lot of money on this camera, and this other camera has like 90% of the features and is like a fraction of the price. So th that'll be the hard part. Will you, or will the build quality of the camera, the EVF, and the card slots really be a driving factor and a enough driving factor for you to purchase the A7S III over this ZVE-1 camera 
if uh, you know everything is equal at the end of the day. It'll be very interesting to see. Tomorrow there are supposed to be some more rumors coming out for Sony uh, Alpha rumors on possibly images and other leaks. So I'm going to be staying, like watching that site and trying to post up more leaks as it gets closer to this March 29th release date. So stay tuned, subscribe for more videos. What kind of cam camera are you excited about this camera? Do you think it's going to tailor to this market? I'd love to hear your input down in the comments below. Uh, and we'll see what this camera has to offer once it's released and we get more details on that. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, do all the fun YouTube -y things, and you know that I will see you in the future.